Hi there. Well, how are you this morning? <laughs> Good to have you join with me again on this lovely, lovely day. The birds are chirping outside. It's just lovely. I've got the door open. It's just a beautiful, beautiful, beautiful day today. Well, I have been thinking a lot lately about the great love that God has for us. He has for you today and the great love that God has for me today. And there's no better scripture, I think, than to read John chapter 3, verse 16. It's a scripture, well-known scripture scripture we all know quite well um, but I want to read it to you this morning it said for God so greatly loved and dearly prized this is what God's word says the world that he even gave his one and only uh, begotten son so that whoever believes and trusts in him as savior shall not perish but have eternal life. Wow, is that not amazing? Is that not wonderful? This great, great, great love that God has for you that he gave up. You know, you and I are greatly, greatly loved and we're dearly prized by God, that verse says. So much so, the love that he has um, was so much so there then and is so much so now today that he gave up his only son to die on that cross for you and I. Um, why? So that you and I can have eternal life. Um, it doesn't stop there today. You know, that incredible love that the Father has uh, shown us, has allowed us, the, script, the word says, to be named, to be called to be counted as children of God. 1 John chapter 3 verse 1 it says see what an incredible quality of love the Father has shown us. That is God showing love to you today. Uh, that we would be permitted. We, you and I today are permitted to be called, to be named and called and counted as children of God. And so we are. For this reason the world does not know us because it did not know him. Wow, I love that. We are named, we are called and we are counted by this great, 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 great big God, the creator of the universe. He named you, he called you, and he's counted you as one of his own. Then again in Deuteronomy chapter 7 verse 9, I love, love, love this verse. It says, understand therefore that the Lord your God is indeed God. He is God. He is the faithful God who keeps his covenant for a thousand generations and lavishes he lavishes his unfailing love on those who love him and obey all his commands. I love that. You know, his love, his covenant that he has made, it goes on for thousands and thousands of generations. Um, you know, I can say today that I'm sitting here today and I know that my... Um, my grandparents, my great great grandparents, my great 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 grandparents, um, I believe that there's a line that of men and women of God who did choose to serve God. There was a, um, a desire in their heart to see and to pray for the next generation and the next generation. And I am so so grateful for that today. So, today, as you go through your day today, whatever you do, if you're going out or you're staying in, um, whatever you're doing, ponder on these things today that the Lord your God is indeed God. This God, your God, is indeed the God. He's the King of Kings. He's the Lord of Lords. Uh, he created this wonderful, wonderful universe that we have the privilege of living in. And He is faithful. Your God is faithful today. Um, he's a faithful God. And his third thing is He keeps His covenant for a thousand generations. So if your children are not serving God, I want to encourage you today to believe God's promises over your children today. Your children will be men and women of God who serve God. Soften their hearts, Lord, we pray, even at this time. Take away stony, stubborn hearts and replace it with soft, responsive hearts towards you, God. Then he lavishes his unfailing love on us as we love him and obey his commands. Wow, a lot to think on today, a lot to ponder on today. But know that you have a loving, loving God who loves you. He loves you so, so much. He loves you. You priceless to him. He loves you with this everlasting love as we read. You can be blessed today in the fact that you are loved by 
God. As we said earlier on, you can know today you named, you're called, and you are counted today. So have a blessed day today and know that God is walking with you. He's leading you. He's guiding you. Uh, and he will give you all that you have need today. Everything that pertains to life and to godliness you can find in God today. So be encouraged today and we'll chat again soon. God bless. Bye-bye.